Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about how to map a container output to a multiple ports in Docker. So uh, the first step is to check that my Docker daemon is running. For doing that I'm going to type systemctl status docker uh, typo status docker okay I can see the the service is running and now I'm going to check what images do I have in my system I have some of them and I'm going to use this one called BB board because this is a node.js application is quite light so it will start fast than the others and for doing that I'm going to type docker run hyphen p okay for, uh, before I'm doing this uh, I'm like to, to mention that some applications will be publishing their output in certain port in this case BB board is publishing to the port 8080 and I'm going to redirect to a different port by using the network module in docker in this case I'm going to use my local uh, port 80 and the application port which is 8080 but also I'm going to use my local 443 port to map the same one the 8080 from the application that way I'm going to be able to access the application in both ports uh, this is uh, useful when an application has an admin section or an admin module and you want uh, some or general users to use the application without any port let's say in this case the port 80 but you want the administrators for that application to use a different site or a different site portion and uh, to access to that part you can use a different port which will be in this case 443 but it can be another let's say 9000 because uh, I'm using this configuration 80 and 443 in preparation to use the SSL certificates in my application so the site is secure. Okay, let me execute this one. It will start in a few seconds. Okay, as you can see, the server.js uh, is up and is publishing on the port 8080. If I'm going if I'm go to the to the browser and type localhost without port, it will redirect me to the application. Localhost without port means uh, localhost in the port 80. That's the default HTTP port. And if I'm using the 443 also for SSL, this is the standard. It will redirect me to the to the same application. As you can see, I'm publishing in the multiple ports the same application. At this moment, it says the connection is not secure because I don't have any SSL certificate, but I'm going to add one in the later videos. So this is all for this video. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Thanks.